Hello everyone, welcome to our new video on AS Logic Micro. It's a vi this video is not about SCADA as we used use to do in our channel, but it's rather about uh, PSC. PSC simply means Micro Logic Controller. Before we start everything, I would like to invite you to like the video if you like the content of the video. I'm going to ask you to subscribe to this channel and finally if you like the channel or the video you can just share the video in any of your account either facebook or instagram so let's quickly start the real thing as i was saying this program is going to work for plc let me show you how the plc looks like this device is an electromechanical device or simply an electronic device programmable electronic device it's a PLC the type is Alon Bradley Micrologic Micrologic as you can see is the name of the software that we use that we use to program this particular type of PLC this PLC is Alon Bradley that means it, may, it, that means it works it's only Micrologic if you use a PLC which is Siemens or Theta it's going to use a complete different software and a completely different coding language but this part is the input part of the programming logic controller the PLC this is where the PLC receives the data and then this is the output part this is where the PLC is sent from where the PLC can send its instruction to loads like motor or device like contactor and here is where you connect your communication cable from your laptop there is a USB side you connect the USB side of your communication cable to your PC and then the other side of the communication cable you can just you, you have you just have to plug it here that's basically but you have to know about the PLC. Let's go back to our video, to our, our, our program, sorry. The car parking is going to work this way. The parking can contain exactly five cars, not more than five cars. It can contain from zero to five cars. So when there is zero car in the parking, you cannot open the exit gate and also the other condition is that when there is five, exactly five cars in the parking the, the entrance gate cannot open and I'm going to demonstrate it to you in this in the simulation of the code so the number of car is going to vary from zero to five but he can never the number of cars can never exceed five and the lowest number of car is going to be zero so quickly let's let's start the demonstration but before you do you have to download your code to the PLC but note that we are not using any PLC so we just download it and use the simulation site I'm downloading it. I'm downloading it. I have to click on OK. Yes, I'm going online. Then let me now run because I'm using the simulation. I'm now running the code. That's the code. Have a look at this part. This part is the sensor. Note that there is two gates. The in the entrance gate and the exit gate this part is about the entrance gate and this part is about the exit gate in the entrance gate these two sensors just like the exit gate there's one sensor before the gate let me say outside the parking and there is another sensor inside the parking same thing for the exit gate there is a sensor inside it is another sensor just outside so the sensor which is inside uh, which is outside for the entrance gate gives the information that there is a car outside so the gate should open and once the gate 
is opening, the car will enter. Once the car has entered in the, in the parking, the inside sensor sends the information to the motor that the motor should now close the gate because the car is already inside. So the driver is going to park the car. Now, when this driver will feel like leaving the parking, he will, he will drive to the exit gate, right? Once he gets to the exit gate, the sensor which is inside, in front of the exit gate, will sense the car and send the signal to the motor, telling the motor that the motor should open the gate for the car to go out. Once the car will be out of the parking, this out the, 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 the sensor which is outside now, the exit gate, which is after the exit gate where you are coming from inside, is going to send a signal to the motor, telling the motor that the motor should not close the gate because the car is already outside and ready to leave. So now, exactly this part, this is the sensor which is outside for the entrance gate. This is the sensor which is inside for the, uh, the entrance gate. And this sensor is the sensor which is inside the car parking for the exit gate. And this is the one outside for the exit gate, right? So now, the thing you can see here is the counter. This device is the part, and so this is the part of the code where where we count the number of cars that are inside so that we always know the code will always know the exact number of cars which are in the parking based on that the know this number will never exceed five and the system will work properly so there's no waste no more time and move to the simulation so i want to demonstrate to you that when the car, when the zero car, as you can see here, the zero car in the parking, right? So the exit gate should not be able to open. This is the contactor for the entrance gate, telling the motor that the motor should open the gate. This is the one telling the motor they should close. Same thing for the exit gate. This is the one, the contactor telling the motor it should open the gate for the car to leave. And this is the contactor telling the motor that the motor should close the gate because the car has left. So now, if I tell the sensor which is in front of the exit gate when you are coming from inside the car parking, I, I simulate a signal to this sensor. Let me see if when the zero cars in the parking, if this sensor will be able to open the gate. So this is going to be a right click, then top of it. As you can see, this part is not energized. So the, if this contactor is not energized, that means the motor is not going to run in the forward direction for the kit to open. So now let's move forward. Let me now simulate when a car is coming in the parking, top of it. You see, the forward contactor receives energy, so the, the motor is going to rotate in forward direction. As you can see, there is one car in the parking, and then the car is going inside. The car has passed the gate and it enter in the field of the second contactor, the contactor which is right after the gate when you are coming from outside, right after, right after the gate when you are coming from outside the car parking. This sensor, the second sensor, sensor number two, detects the presence of the car. So it tells the, the motor, it sends, it, sends, it sends a signal, it sends a signal to the reverse contactor and the reverse contactor allows the motor to rotate in reverse direction so the motor will now close the gate. So let's remove signals from these sensors. We have now one car in the parking. Now, let's simulate when the second car is coming. You see, the car has come inside. If you have a look at there, you can quickly see that we now have two cars. Now, there's a third car coming in. The 
two sensors detect detect the presence of the color now count three cars inside let's move to four we now have four cars inside we know that the system will not allow more than five cars right but let me see if one of the drivers want to leave what will happen the driver will start his engine and driving drives into the direction of the exit gate so now the sensor at the in front of the gate when you are coming from inside the car parking will sense that there is a car which, which is about to leave it's going to send a signal now the for the signal motor the forward contactor will send a signal thanks to the sensor that it should open the motor should rotate in forward direction so that so that the gate will open then the car will now go out out of the parking and the car, the sensor which is out of the parking will sense the presence of the this car and then it will now close the gate because the car is already outside the car parking now if you have if you've paid attention we were we were count, counting four cars but because one car has left our count is now three so let's continue another car another car come count now we can now count four right we now have four cars in our car parking okay so what we'll do is that we'll move the fifth car will come you know have five cars in our car parking right so remember i've been telling you that this car parking cannot have more than five cars so let me check if another car comes in front of the gate and that the sensor detects this the presence of this car knowing that there's already five cars in the car parking what will happen let's simulate the presence of the fifth car to a bit have a look at this part this contactor didn't receive any signal so the motor is not going to rotate in forward direction that simply means that the gate is not going to open so that is it when we get we get to five number of cars inside the car parking this number cannot be exceeded so even if the sensor detects the presence of another car the gate will not open unless this number goes down to four before another car uh, can enter again so that means when we have five car unless one car leaves the gate let's simulate one leaves the parking let's simulate one the car is going to be this car is leaving this car has left the parking so the count is now four so if you try to let one enter again we will move back to five cars inside the parking so that is basically all for this demonstration i hope you've been able to have a further idea of how this program is working let me show you the down part of the code this is where we count and this part is where we equalize we have equalized the number of cars to zero so that the value of zero we know uh, less is not going the number of cars cannot be less than zero and it cannot be more than five that's basically what i've been trying to explain to you if you want further explanation you can always contact me through my mail i will put it in the description of the video if you have any question you can comment if you have any idea of uh, a program that we should write for you and explain it in the video i will do it remember that we can code with SCADA design with SCADA and we can also use plc IS, IS logic starter to make our video so thank you guys i hope i'm going to see you soon in the next video thanks for watching